everybody, it's M, and I am very happy to be putting out this video finally because I am gonna show you guys how this was turned into this. I wanna remind you though that this is not a tutorial, rather this is just a documentation of everything that I did in order to make this one and you know, just a little chit chat along the way on my realizations upon making this cardigan. So these yarns came in earlier. I actually ordered them last week and I'm really glad that I've already received them. This pocket hat over here is actually the first ever item that I have crocheted ever. And it's not perfect but I'm really satisfied with how it turned out considering that I'm a beginner. And so I decided that after making this, I kind of want to challenge myself. I want to step it up a notch. And so I decided to make a crocheted cardigan. <laughs> and if you browse, if you search on YouTube about a uh, crocheted cardigan, you might have noticed that I also follow the color palette of one of the YouTubers. I forgot the name, but I'm gonna link her video down below. I follow the color palette because I don't really wanna uh, explore. I don't, I don't wanna explore too much right now because as of the moment this is a this is an experimental stage i don't want to experiment with the colors even further so i'm i'm gonna play safe my target for this one is actually i want to finish this one month from now hopefully i can finish this one month from now so let's see if i can actually finish it within the timeline I just did my first ever row! Did you see it? Wait, focus. Yun. Ang pangit tingnan. Too many more of these to go. One hour later. So after an hour, I finally formed a single square. A single square. For an hour probably I'm gonna get faster for the next squares hopefully because otherwise if that would be my pace then I would really take more than two to three months to finish this whole thing considering that I'm also busy with other stuff in my life so I just quickly took off my makeup before I proceed to making the two other squares for tonight. And I just noticed that my first ever square is kind of like a trapezoid. <laughs> I mean, I didn't follow the tutorial to keep track of the number of stitches for it to become consistent. But I guess my problem is that I might have gotten the early, the later stitches a bit too loose. That's why it became like this. So I'll try to become more consistent in my next squares. Hopefully I become more consistent. So I'm not exactly sure how long it has been since I started making this whole project but I guess it has been more than a month now uh, or something. And so as of the moment, I now have this much squares. However, I do think that I might have run out of yarn because I don't think these are enough for the amount of squares that I needed. Hello! 
So I'm finally on the last stage of this whole project and I'm in the process of making the ribbing for the waistline. I can say that it's basically about 90% done. Um, earlier this morning, I realized that I could actually make do with what I have right now. So what I did is that instead of going for a five by yeah five by three back panel, I resorted to just three by three, and then the front panel instead of two by three, I it's just one by three, and the the arms it's two by three so I adjusted them according to my size and to the yarn that I have now you guys may be thinking why I started to do this project like we're, we're in the middle of summer why am I making a cardigan it's climate change baby there's also this thing that I want to talk about. It's the concept of sustainable fashion. So imagine having to crochet this whole cardigan and then it's just being sold for a very low price. Now people might think that it's actually reasonable, but no, it's not because it's very tedious to make a single cardigan like this one and the person who does all the hard work is not properly compensated and that is very sad you know as a person who likes to dress up a lot i admit that i buy lots of i mean not lots like very marami I buy clothes from Shopee and Shein, which are obviously fast fashion. And so, as much as possible, I try to minimize that. I try to only buy what I need at the moment. And I only buy those items that are actually reusable and spe especially those basic items i give much importance to those one instead of just buying those trendy clothings that are found in those boodles boodle house by lots of other youtubers out there although i must admit that i also watch a lot of those kinds of videos because you know as a fashionista char as a person who likes to dress up i like seeing a variety of clothes and you know just seeing people mix and match those clothes but there's also this thing about are you fashionable or are you just trendy because for me being fashionable is being able to make do with what you already have in your closet like you mix and match all those items to create a whole new outfit then just hopping on the trend which is so fast-paced and is easily you know over that being said if we minimize the consumption of fast fashion items then consequently it would minimize our carbon footprints because you know the amount of the amount of fossil fuels that are being uh consumed by those factories that makes all those fast fashion pieces is incomprehensible like they contribute to a lot of the greenhouse gases that are emitted in our 
environment by doing that by not purchasing a lot of those fast fashion items it's kind of like your way of advocating it's kind of like your first step towards a cleaner greener environment so that the earth can finally breathe Another lazy afternoon The clouds covered in grey Third coffee of the day Almost fell asleep on soon I yawn at the display Third meeting of the day So yeah, there we have it This is my crocheted cardigan And I'm really happy how it turned out And yeah, ayun nga, yung realizations ko is that it's not easy to really make your own handmade clothing. And if ever you buy from someone who does everything handmade, then please do not question their prices. Because, you know, it reminds me of that one TikTok sound that says, It costs that much because it took me effing hours. It costs that much because it don't have superpowers. Ganun. Because is really tedious the whole process itself is very tedious i paid 870 pesos just to buy the yarn including the shipping fee from shopee if i were me if i were to sell this cardigan i would probably sell it by around mga two five or three thousand pesos because it's not hindi talaga siya and i'm really happy how this one turned out i'm probably not gonna be crocheting anytime soon every time i see the I see a yard, parang yung mundo ko miikot. Nagiging yarn yung world ko. So I'm gonna have a crochet break muna. This is a reminder that if you put your mind into it, then you can really make it. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't yet, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this video and share it to your friends probably. And see you too. <laughs> and see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye. -bye.